Hello, I'm Elsa Wheeler and I'm a manager at Advocacy Matters. Advocacy Matters is a charity set up in 2002 to provide independent advocates for people with a learning disability, a physical disability or a neurological condition. We support people to have a voice to ensure that they have informed choices which promotes equality and social justice. I supported a man some time ago who had a learning disability. At the time I supported him, we had a referral from the community, one of the groups he attended. He was being excluded from these groups because he was actually smelling very strongly of urine. After I'd explored with this man all the possibilities, whether it was his hygiene or whether his washing machine had broken or any of those things, we, we came to the conclusion that there was probably something physically wrong. I supported him to visit his GP and supported him to be able to explain to his GP what was wrong. Without the support of an advocate, he might not have said, as this was quite a personal thing. I also supported him to understand what the GP was saying to him, to understand that he needed to go to see a consultant at the hospital to see a urologist, and when he needed to do that. I visited the urologist with this man, and the urologist was talking to him about what he wanted to do, that he wanted to do a very small operation or procedure for him. And he, the consultant was actually saying to this man, and talking about things inside his body, so he was saying, you know where your bladder is? Well, your urine drains away from your bladder and it goes down and then it will come out, your urethra. And the man I was with was sitting there saying, oh yes, yes, and acting like he completely understood. After the consultant had finished, I asked the man, I said, where is your bladder? And he said, well, I don't know. And then I said, what is your bladder? And he said, well, I don't know. Where's your urethra? And he didn't know. So I was able to say to the consultant urologist, he actually, even though he's saying yes, he doesn't understand, could you draw a picture for him showing him where those things are inside his body? So the consultant was able to do that. Then this man was able to cons consent to that procedure himself and say, yes, you know, I understand this. He was also stopped him being frightened. He may not have turned up to the hospital without the support of an advocate. He wouldn't have understood the letters that he got through and he may have been too frightened to go. So that support addressed his health inequalities and ensured he got the health care that he needed. Advocates can provide a vital link for GPs to their patients in the community. We can ensure that you have a meaningful dialogue with your patients and real consultation with them. We consult through our own user groups and we can support questions to be asked through those user groups or through the people that we work with.